Hey y'all, Chuck here. Hey, uh, morning. Today I just want to have a uh, short chat about happiness uh, with you guys. Um, I don't know, I just uh, I felt like talking about it this morning. Happiness is pretty simple, okay? Happiness is, uh, it starts here. Uh, happiness is here. That's it. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, if you are not uh, happy with yourself, you're never going to be happy. So what I'm saying is that, uh, you know, we seek things in our life uh, to try to make ourselves happy, um, mostly relationships. So we're always searching for this person to come rescue us, to, uh, to save us from misery and uh, make our life complete, uh, give us happiness and joy. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, there are, uh, that's definitely a need in life to have a good companion, to have a great relationship, but relationships aren't always perfect. But uh, the only way to have a good relationship is, uh, is to be happy with yourself. So what I mean by that is if you don't, uh, if you're not happy with yourself and you're seeking for happiness from this other person, eventually it's going to come to an end. The person can never make you happy because you're, uh, you're looking for something that's not, you're not going to find. So, uh, you know, a, a lot of times in life we make sacrifices, especially for family. You know, if you're a parent, you make a lot of sacrifices for your kids and your spouse. Uh, we do things because we have to provide, um, but we never seem to take the time out to, uh, to make ourselves happy. Um, you know, we always say, oh, one day, uh, one day when my kids get off to college and everybody's settled in, uh, uh, we'll do something and find happiness. You don't have to do that. You can just think of, take time out of your day and think about the little things that, uh, that you want in life. What is your, or what is your ultimate goal in life? Um, you know, it may be something simple like, uh, you want to go play basketball with your friends or go play golf or go fishing or read a book or or take some pictures uh, a hobby uh, something that makes you happy something that makes you relaxed you gotta get these things in your life uh, if you can't find happiness in yourself uh, happy with who you are uh, happy of who you've become or who you want to be uh, your life is going to be miserable. So what happens is, is you know, if you want to go play golf with your buddy and you're in a relationship where your wife uh, doesn't approve of it and uh, or your husband, uh, you know, then you sacrifice your happiness for confrontation so you don't want to deal with it. So, but I think you need to have a sit down discussion uh, and, and figure out a way to come to a compromise. Uh, you shouldn't hold, nobody should hold somebody back from doing something that they enjoy. So what happens is, is we don't do these things because we don't really want confrontation. We don't want to have an unhappy life at home. So uh, a lot of times we start uh, saying, well, Tom is only going to play golf because he's only, he's unhappy uh, with his family and he just wants to get away from his wife. And we start making up stupid things that uh, just to make our situation seem better. Um, a lot of times when you're miserable, you, uh, you, you seek to find misery in others. Uh, anytime you see somebody that's down on their luck or having a bad day, uh, you want to hear about it. You want to you wanna be a part of it because it'll make your life feel a little bit better uh, seeing somebody else uh, more miserable than you are, or at least telling yourself in your mind that that person's more miserable than you are. Um, if you were a happy person and had, uh, you wouldn't have these problems. You wouldn't care uh, what other people are doing in their life. You wouldn't be seeking darkness. <laughs> you wouldn't be trying to uh, degrade people uh, to benefit yourself. So, you know, uh, a lot of times in a relationship we can't get these things i think you should seek another relationship or uh or uh try to uh get on your own whatever it's going to take to to find happiness but i think you should figure out what that is that you want to do 
in your life and work towards that. If it's a long-term goal, uh, for example, mine was to retire early. Uh, I set myself a goal on, on how I wanted to achieve that, what I wanted to do once I got there, and I made it happen. Uh, the process was miserable. <laughs> Have to do a lot of things, make a lot of sacrifices to get to that point. Uh, but I enjoyed fishing, so you know I went fishing as much as I possibly could. Uh, and I had a wife that was... Uh, uh, you know, she would never say, oh, you can't do this or you can't do that. Uh, as far as, you know, fishing and stuff like that goes. But, you know, it's, it goes both ways. You know, if your wife wants to go to the nail shop once a week and it costs you $100 a month and, uh, and you don't like it, who cares what you think? If, if she wants to go, maybe it's something more than just getting her nails done. She wants to go be around other people like her. And uh, it brings joy to her life. But... You know, your wife can't understand sometimes that you want to do the things that you want to do, and you can't understand why she wants to. But, uh, you know, everybody deserves to be happy. So we got to give each other space uh, to be able to do that, I think. Um, <clears throat> sometimes. Uh, sometimes your wife might love to go fishing or play golf or go shoot darts or whatever it is, you know. Uh, you should take her. Both be happy, but... Anyway, what happens sometimes is in a relationship that, uh, you know, you can't agree on, well, you end up uh, maybe having an affair with somebody in the office, uh, going to clubs at night or, or, or doing things behind each other's back uh, as a feeling of uh, control, like uh, I'm in control of my life and I can do what I want. So these little things that we do behind each other uh, is self-gratifying sometimes. So. What I'm basically saying <laughs> is that find happiness in yourself and everything around you becomes pleasant. Uh, when you hear people complain about stuff, it doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> usually what people say in their life is a mirrored image of who they really are. Um, yeah, so I would just... Uh, Stop complaining about everybody else's uh, life. Look at yourself. It's starting to rain. <laughs> it's raining on my parade. I wouldn't care, but I'm holding my camera, so I gotta start heading this way. Uh, don't worry about what other people say. Um, don't worry about what other people think. Worry about yourself. Uh, you only have one life. Um, if you're sharing it with somebody else, at the end of the day, it's still your life. So do what makes you happy and uh, bring some joy into your life. Figure it out. Once you become happy, uh, you'll see the world in a different uh, perspective. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. I've had a lot of, uh, since I've been traveling around Thailand and uh, talking to people around the world I've experienced a lot of negativity I don't really care personally I'm happy with my life I love to share our adventures uh, that we're doing and um, I want to show people that uh, you can do anything you want to do if you set your mind to it and uh, on the other side of the world uh, this is what it looks like this is how people are other than your perspective on CNN or Discovery Channel. This is real life. But uh, I want people to see that. I want people to see that you can be happy. Uh, this is where I found my happiness. For some, for some reason, I couldn't find this type of happiness in America where I'm from. I found it here. If I find myself not happy, then I'll leave, I'll move, I'll go somewhere different. Um, I'll follow happiness whenever I can, however I can. And uh, I have a supportive wife who uh, thinks the same as I do. And uh, that's, why, uh, that's why we're together. We chose each other. But uh, anyway, thanks for listening to me, blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to get that out there. And uh, yeah, headed back home before the rain starts. I'll see you on the next video. Sweaty cop. <laughs>